In these problems, we are creating cumulative frequency polygons. Uh, these are sometimes called ogives after their shape being something like the arch, often used in Arabic architecture. Um, what these problems start with is typically um, a histogram that shows the frequency of something. In this case, you have a bunch of uh, light bulb lifetime hours. So the light bulbs that burnt out somewhere between 700 and 750 hours, there were five of them. So these uh, bars here in the histogram are showing the frequency. When we make a cumulative frequency polygon, it's just another graph to show how the frequencies add up across these ranges down here. So the frequency from 700 to 750 is 5. So you started at 0 at 700, you got up to 5 here. The frequency from 700 to 800, well, we'll just add 5 and 6. So by the time you get up here, you're at 11 for a cumulative frequency. And we just keep going on up that way. So 11 plus 15 is 26, plus 12 is 38, plus 9 is 47, and plus 3 is 50. I ended up with 50, which is good because that's the sample size in this problem. Uh, so I know I've done something right. Now to graph this, uh, it's not too tough. We're going to make a new graph here, and the axis on the bottom is going to be exactly the same as this one. So I'm going to just do that over here, and we'll have 700 and 750 and 800 and 850 and 900, 950 and 1,000. Okay, so there's my bottom axis. The axis on the left is going to go from 0, which is where we start at 700, up to 50. So it's the total sample size. So we'll put 50 up here. We'll say this is 25. And then all we do is plot the points we figured out. Now, at 700, we're starting at 0. And by the time we get to 750, we've got a total of 5. So we'll go 0 at 700, and then 5, and 11 and then 26, and then 38, and then 47, and then 50. And then all we have to do is connect the dots to get our cumulative frequency polygon, or ogive. Now there's another type of problem that's related to this, and it's almost the same. Take a look at this one. You can read all that if you'd like. I'll just summarize it for you. Um, what we have here is another histogram. And what this shows is the survival rate of people with a certain type of cancer who had taken a certain medication. So those who survived from 0 to 10 months, there were 7 of them, uh, 10 to 20 months, 8 of them, etc. And what we're being asked to do here is to come up with a cumulative relative frequency polygon. So it's almost the same as a cumulative frequency polygon, but the frequencies are relative. What that means is they're relative to the whole sample size. So there are 25 patients in this sample. And to find out the relative frequency, the frequency on this first range is 7. To find out the relative frequency, you're just going to divide by the sample size. So 7 divided by 25, that's 0.28. And 8 divided by 25, 0.32. 6 divided by 25 is 0.24, 3 would be 0.12, and 1 is 0 0.04. So those are our relative frequencies. Now to do cumulative relative frequency, just like we did with the first one, we're going to add these up as we go along. So we start at 0. By the time we get to 10, we're at 0.28. By the time we get to 20, we're 0.28 plus 0.32, which would be 0.6. And then add another 0.24, we're at 0.84. Add another 0.12, we're at 0.96. And then add 0.04, we get to 1. When you do a cumulative or relative frequency, you should end on 1. If you don't, you've made a mistake somewhere along the way. Now, when we draw our graph, um, our ogive, our left-hand axis is going to go from 0 to 1 because we're dealing with relative frequencies. And then our bottom axis is going to be just the same as the original histogram. So 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. And then we'll just plot these points. So 0, 0. And then by 10, we're at 0 
and by 20 we're at 0 .32, uh, 0.6, and by 30, 0.84, and 40, 0.96, and 50, we're at 1. And then we connect the dots, and we have our cumulative relative frequency polygon, or our ogive, uh, for this problem. So that's a little bit of work with cumulative distributions and ogives.